Hmm. Okay, I don't want to use this stuff here. So I think what I'll do is the same thing I did in the last playthrough, which is find more iron. Or actually, we do have access to more iron. There's still unexploited nodes in that direction. And this... Wait, there's iron over here. So maybe we can build the reinforced iron plates over here. Anybody home? Oh, there's something over there. Okay, this is a pure node. Still haven't taken any damage so far in this playthrough. Not even fall damage. That's awesome. So we got two pure nodes here. We're gonna set up uh, reinforced iron plates over here. Just clear this out a bit. As our inventory, we're still good on inventory space. Alright, we'll put our equipment workshop over here and the craft bench. Just so we have easy access to this. We do need another two portable miners. Oh, and we are out of iron plates. Almost. Yeah, we're gonna need more. Then once we get reinforced iron plates, we need to work on producing motors. What do you need to make motors again? Well, let's clear this out first and then we'll figure it out. Okay, let's start clearing more of this stuff out. Hey, doggo. Ooh. Wait, let me do something. Wait, wait, wait. I got a pale berry. I'm not wearing blade runners or whatever they're called. Come on. Come on. Wait, that actually worked? Come on, I got... Like, get out of the bushes, damn. Like, I can't even see you. Like, we have pale berries. So, what exactly does this do? Like, I have pale berries. Okay, so do I stuff this in your mouth or something? Like, I don't understand. I'm not wearing Blade Runners. I have Pale Berries out. What am I missing with this? Okay, I've held E. That doesn't do anything. Tapping E just pets the doggo. And you're just backing away slowly, so I don't know. 
Like, it was like that last game. I couldn't figure out how to tame the lizard doggo. Like, I have pale berries, and I have no blade runners equipped. So, I don't really know what's going on with that. Anyway, what was I doing? Let's go get some biomass. Let's also dump more biomass in here. Let's also put the wood in here. Oh, we have iron ore and we have limestone. I don't need that in here. So let's just take all of that. And what I'm going to do is... I was thinking of using that area, these two iron nodes, for the stuff here, but... I don't know. In order to access that second node, I need explosives. But I kind of need the plates right now. So what I'm going to do is fill these up. That's what I was trying to do. I should also add more generators here, or burners. Make sure we stay on top of this, except I need iron plates. That's what I came back here to do, is get iron plates. Let's also take this concrete. Okay, so we need to take all of this. And we don't need that. We do need these. Okay, uh... Build a couple of biomass burners. Just so we can stay on top of our power production. Okay, let's hook this up. Okay, so we have plenty of power going now. As plenty as it's going to get. Probably should throw away some of these things. Like, screws definitely don't need them for building. Then again, I also need screws to make the reinforced iron plates, so never mind. Let's take an entire stack with us. So this area is now looking a lot cleaner. Still need to get a, a little bit more vegetation out of there, but this is much cleaner than before. Alright, so... We need... Miner over here. You know what? I'm gonna... Put them like this. Just so we can use this area over here for building. Uh, let's see here. Constructor... No, we need smelters. Right, let's put down splitters first. And then let's connect this up. And then we can put our 
smelters over here. Give it just a little bit of room so we can curve our conveyor belts somewhat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hook this up. Oh, I actually have a lot of cables. That's okay, we're gonna burn through a lot of these things. Oh, this also needs power. here. Now I'm putting the power poles on the sides here because we're not really going to be building here. So it's tucked away inside here. And you know what, let's go up here. We'll put our power pole up here. Oh, what the hell? Don't do that. Wait a minute, can I like stack these poles? Oh, I guess not. I mean, if I could have done that in the previous update, I probably would have. But then again, that would kind of destroy the whole point of those like MK MK2 and MK3 poles. Okay, so that should be mining now. And these should be starting to fill up now. So these ingots are now going. Now what was the ratio for these things? I don't even remember. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember back from my previous playthrough. There was like... One, two, three, four for screws. One, two... Three, four for... Iron rods? Wait, not iron rods, um... What the hell am I thinking? Let me put this down first, except I can't, because I don't have reinforced iron plates. Alright, let's go back here. Let's make some. We make lots. Or wait, the recipe should be in here, shouldn't it? So, reinforced iron plates, 6, 12 screws. Oh, it doesn't say the time, so... Well, while we're here, we need to check the rotors. Oh, it's iron rods 
and screws. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is put down... Do the same thing we did in the last playthrough. I'm going to use this area to make reinforced iron plates at first. And then once we've moved on to like MK3s and MK4 conveyor belts, they would no longer require um, the production here. They no longer require reinforced iron plates, so then we can convert this to motors because that's something we would need. Okay, so... Yeah, let's do that. Um, three... You know what? I don't remember the ratio. It was like four screws, two iron plates. It's gotta be that. Now first, I want to make sure that this is angled correctly. Like, the spacing doesn't need to be perfect, but the angle needs to be perfect. Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six. Three, four, five, six. I have a feeling I have the ratio wrong, but I need to get this going. So we'll worry about correcting it later. I just need to get something going. Yeah, that's connected. Okay, so we're gonna have screws over here. Four of these constructors will be for screws, and then two will be for iron plates. No power. Oh, right. Uh, let's connect this over here. And then we're going to need some more reinforced iron plates so we can get the screws in here. And then we need to make assemblers so that we can actually make the reinforced iron plates. So if I remember correctly, we feed two of the screw constructors we merge them into one line and put them into assembler so it's two screw constructors per one iron plate i don't even know if that's correct but i'm just going to go with this hope for the best So two of these, actually we can make six screw constructors because we have four for the iron rods. So we can make six. Probably should do that. Well, let's make the mergers first. And then we'll put splitters 
Splitters this way. Alright, let's connect this up now. Oh no. Damn you. Okay, splitter. Oh, we should connect this first to make sure this actually connects. Your belt is too steep. There. Now you can merge. Let's connect this up. Make sure they connect. Okay, they connect. This goes in here. Alright, so we have three instructors over here. Okay, these will construct our screws. Wait, you don't go there. Don't do that. Alright, now we set this to screws. So now these should be producing. You know what, we probably need to build our factory somewhere else because this doesn't actually provide that much room. Now that I think about it. Or maybe we can like have like this off the ground like just immediately build the second floor of the factory and then we'll just leave the first floor like this I mean that sounds like a good idea this can go here This can go over here. And then, a merger can go here. Anything coming out here? I mean, what's going on? Gotta double check this first. Oh, no power. So some of these are not powered yet. Weird.
Oh. Oh, that's why. I made a mistake here. There, now you're powered. All of these are powered. They should all be green. Yes, they are. Okay. All of these should now be going. Okay, now we just need to deliver these things over to the assemblers over here. We need rotors. We need eight rotors. Where are you? Oh no, we don't have enough screws. Okay, let's make more screws. Until we have enough to make three rotors. This is gonna take a while. Or maybe not. There we go. Just enough for three more rotors. Okay, let's make the assemblers now. Turn it the other way. Hey, get out of the way, you damn parrot. Come on. Way with you. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna put this over here. I can't have. Oh my god. I need more reinforced iron plates. But you know what? Let's get this running first. That way we have some automation going for the iron plates or reinforced iron plates. This needs to be three high. this here. Alright, there we go. Let's put the rotors now. Go here. Are the iron... Wait a minute. Oh, shit. 